On episode 21 of Overwatch This, we'll be talking about possible new hero Effie Oladeli, her origins, the fan theories surrounding her, and when we might start to see her in game. Hello there YouTube and welcome to episode 21 of Overwatch This. I am Phil and here with me is Ben, our Overwatch overlord. And that's, that's the official job title now, is that. it? Yeah. Love that. yeah. Um, we've got something of a special episode today, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Because yeah. we might have a new hero to talk about, we're not completely sure. Sort of, maybe, yes. Um, well, let's begin. Let's talk about Effie. Oladeli. Yeah, that's how, that, so that's how we're going to pronounce it. There hasn't <laughs> been an official Oladeli. pronunciation guide from Blizzard. Yeah. Um, we looked it up online, that was about as close as we, we could get. Uh, so, clearly there will be you know, an official pronunciation if and when she's kind of confirmed. I hope so, and yeah. I hope I haven't offended anyone with my heinous mispronunciation. We'll keep it case. to Effie most of the time. Effie. Yeah. Let's talk about Effie. So at the time recording this has happened very recently. Yeah, this is all last begin? night. Yeah. So they, they put up a, a post last night where they... It was one of those in-universe kind of things where they interview a character from the universe, somebody nobody had ever heard of before, totally new character, called Effie. Um, and she is from Numbani, which is the African kind of omnic paradise map um and she's a robotics genius and she's 11 years old and then it was kind of this interview about how she was this genius and she was making all these great kind of drones and that sort of thing um kind of came out of nowhere we sort of were expecting something about a new character fairly soon but you know everyone was expecting doom fist maybe one of the other characters that's been hit at there was this greek thing going on last week that we'll, we'll talk about a little bit later um but this kind of came out of nowhere uh, and yeah, she looks like she will either be the new character or related to the new character because she's 11 years old. And in a game that is rated M for Mature, so I think that's 15 and up, you really can't have Soldier 76 gunning down an 11 year old girl. So Not unless she's within something that obscures the visual image of an 11 year old girl being gunned being, down. Being shot in the head, yeah. Like Diva, Diva yeah. is pretty kind of close to the line i think on, on that one and you know she's 19 years old but she looks quite young she is a young girl and you are you know killing her yeah um so yeah there there is that's what makes people think that it isn't just going to be her wandering around the field getting up to nonsense with with omnic robotics yeah and all, all the mentions of robotics and this new project that she's been working on she got yeah. a grant in the interview mm -hmm. she's working on a secret project that she won't talk about just yet it sort of leads to this idea that maybe there'll be drones involved or a big massive tank or something that she will use to manipulate on the battlefield and change the game in exciting ways. Yeah, and, and whether she'll be involved directly or you know, maybe she, she sits in spawn or she's never actually you know, on the map, maybe she doesn't even have her own model. A lot of that you know, we don't know yet, but that's kind of the stuff that we're assuming because basically they would have to change the rating of the game legally. Like it's, you know, it's not kind of a, a artistic license type deal. They wouldn't have to if they wanted to and that's a whole kind of complex process. So the assumption is that she's going to build a weapon of some sort, that the drones that are mentioned in there are, are going to come into play. Where it goes from there is there's all kinds of hints that have been dropped over the course of the last couple of years about new heroes. Um, and one of the ones was, so there was that Sombra trailer when, when she was revealed at BlizzCon. There was the nice short, and then there was her like Origins trailer, which they've done for her, and they've done it for Anna, done a couple of other ones, um, which are the nice kind of stop motion animation type deals where it's kind of concept art that's then been animated afterwards. Yeah. Um, and there's a bit where she goes up to like a wall and she puts her hand out, and this whole kind of spread of, of uh, icons uh, jumps out of it as some kind of like map. And they're all kind of connected, and you can work out what some of them are from stuff that we know. There's icons that clearly represent Soldier 76 or Widowmaker, literally, you know, Widowmaker's head from a bit of concept art we've seen mm. several times. Um, bits of, of logos of, of companies that are involved with certain maps and that sort of thing. And on there is the Numbani logo. Near that is a Doomfist gauntlet, but connecting the two is this spider tank. Um, and so what people think is that FA is going to build this spider tank or be you know involved in its construction in some way and that will be our new hero will actually be this either her inside of it or controlling it um and it'll you know stomp around the battlefield killing people um part of the reason that's so uh, believable is also that the next ta the next hero people think should be a tank just because there aren't very many it's kind of where there's a hole at the moment we've had a support hero we've had sombra who kind of did a lot of different stuff you know she fit into the offense ca category by blizzard's official kind of recommendations but she has a support role she can be useful as defense she's not a traditional offense hero in that she doesn't do you know mad damage but tanks are definitely kind of you know the least number of heroes are in that category 
it's where the game maybe feels the most stale at the moment. Um, and an 11 year old girl wouldn't make a particularly good tank for various reasons, like, <laughs> you know, visual design reasons. They're meant to be big, they're meant to be large, you know, they're meant to literally be able to block shots, they're meant to look like they have a lot of health. But a giant spider tank that stomps around the battlefield, I mean, it's literally a tank, right? So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, another thing we've been, just been talking about in the office is the idea that the spider tank might be able to climb up walls and up ceilings. Yeah, exactly. Which would completely yeah. change everything about the game in, in certain Yeah, exactly, and it would make maps. it super unique. Uh, it, it's the kind of thing where, you know, we, we've got characters that can climb walls, but only a certain distance. We've got characters that can fly, but only for a certain amount of time. If she could permanently lock onto a wall, which is the kind of thing you would expect out, out of a spider tank, kind of um, that kind of cliche, that, that kind of archetype. Yeah. That would be something that would be very different for her, and, you know, how that would mix with her being a tank, we, you know, we don't really know. But yeah, that is the kind of thing that they haven't done yet and is a reasonably obvious avenue to go down. Tremendous amount of work on Blizzard's part to make that work on every map. Oh yeah, yeah that, would be, that would be some nonsense. I expect what, it would, so, what would end up happening is it would be you could only go above a certain height or certain walls you'd be able to climb and certain ones you wouldn't. There'd be some kind of UI element that would be like, oh, you know, you press a button and the walls that you can climb go green or something like that, you know? Mm. Um, so a lot of this is, you know, speculative at this point, but there's also... Um, there's been a series of other leaks. So there was a 4chan leak that came out in January. Um, so the thing about 4chan leaks is they're from 4chan. <laughs> they're pretty much the least reportable thing, like the, the, the least provable thing. It's not something you can really do anything with until they're proved to be at least partly right. So the interesting thing about this one is it came out before the Lunar New Year event started. It predicted the Lunar New Year. Um, it Later on, it predicted a couple of the skins, one of the May ones and one of the Winston ones. It said Doomfist isn't going to be the next hero, which is something we discovered from Jeff Kaplan last week. And it also said that there is going to be this spider tank hero um, that's going to be based from West Africa. That's the accent that the hero is going to have. But obviously, it's you know a giant spider tank, so it is not particularly identifiable in itself. But that's yeah. you know where the voice would be would be from. Yeah. Um, called Ancora. How much of that we you know is is provable or not is is up for debate. Yeah, it might be that her tank ends up being called Ancora. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. again, we're, we're meeting them halfway at least here mm, with yeah. this. But yeah, the, the, there are possibilities there. And the, the thing is as well that like Effie is quite a, a good Overwatch name. Yeah. Um, it's three letters that's very identifiable. It's not similar to any of the other names. It's something you can remember and easily say. It's very obviously easily pronounceable as much as, you know, we don't know how to say the second name. But Sorry again. yeah, the, the, you know, the first part of it is, is quite a good name for a hero just because it, it fits into a, a lot of the, the easily identifiable structure that we see from, from other characters. Anna, for example, something like Zaya, it's just a couple of, couple of syllables. Um, whereas Ancora is a little less pronounceable. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I think what might happen is, yes, the hero will be called Effie, but yeah, it'll be her controlling this tank that's called something else. Um, in the same way that, that you know, Reinhardt's hammer has a name, um, and you know, Anna's gun probably has a name, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if Effie does arrive in a spider tank, it won't be the first time that Blizzard have dallied with such technology in their lore. No, no, not at all. So there are actually spider tanks kind of scattered all over the Overwatch lore um, pretty significantly. There's some in the uh, in the Russian kind of Omnic War that we've seen a couple right. of times in a bits of concept art. There were some spider tanks there. There was also a bit of concept art that was released a while back that seemed to be from like an earlier version of the game in terms of how serious it was going to be and how dark they were going to make it. Um, where on the right hand side you saw one of those Russian spider tanks represented like an actual hero. Um, and then there's also, perhaps most notably, back at BlizzCon 2014 when they initially announced the game, they did a couple of panels, there was like a massive long one that was like Overwatch Unveiled that talked about gameplay and that sort of thing. And then there was another one called Overwatch Origins that um, had, it was just kind of about art and how they built the world up and that sort of thing. And at one point, you can see in, in the background, there's a, there's a great bit of concept art. Um, you can see like Roadhog there and Mercy there. And Mercy is damage boosting a, a spider tank that is, you know, because she's damage boosting it, it's clearly an actual hero. Um, so yeah, it wouldn't be the first, it's not like we're just going, oh, it must be a spider tank, because those are cool. <laughs> you know, these have been kind of there through various bits of concept art. Um, they have been there in general. It's a thing that is, I would say, you know, as typical an archetype that is something that you can imagine Blizzard doing as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's very them. Like, it, it's a cool giant robot thing uh, that, you know, stomps around and that sort of thing. So, yeah, I, I think it it's pretty likely that something along those lines is, is what's coming up. That or she's literally a playable loot box that you just walk around it's, and people you know, it's, open up. It's very possible, yeah. Um, so there's been something I missed at the very end of her interview mm -hmm. um, was a mention of her going on flight 
um, a, a sort of a reward from her parents. Yeah, so her parents are like going to take her on her first kind of proper holiday. That's is basically right. the point. So th this might tie into the idea of, of like something disastrous happening on the yeah. flight that would involve her brain being implanted into a spider tank. Yeah, so, so people think something along those lines might happen just because it's kind of the way it's phrased in the article and the way it's kind of brought up sort of out of nowhere feels like a, a bit of foreshadowing type deal where they're mentioning it because this is going to be relevant in next week's story article yeah. or whatever. I couldn't imagine that flight's just going to go absolutely fine and there'll be no more mention of it. If, yeah, yeah, you know, like why would they bring it up or why would they bring up the holiday at all if there isn't going to be yeah. something with that? <laughs> the thing is, you know, it might be foreshadowing more of her moving to a different location that isn't Lombardi and something happening there. You know, it isn't genuinely, you know, it's not definitely that this plane is going to crash and they're going to kill off an 11-year-old girl. They've just given everybody a, a reason to love, but... I would recommend, I would, I would bet that that's going to be relevant, um, you know, in, in story articles that come up. So the next question is, when is all this going to start happening? Mm. Because we had to wait quite a while with Sombra. <laughs> yeah. um, it wasn't too long, some might say. Yeah, yeah. and with Doomfist as well, mm. getting f sort of further and further away, it seems. Yeah. Um, when is it looking like the first indications of, uh, of Effie and Overwatch might happen? So this is a lot easier to predict, I would say. Basically, there's a patch on the PTR at the moment. Season 3 has also just ended. That ended last night. Season 4 will begin next week. At the moment, there's kind of a mid, uh, a, like a mid-season break type deal, or between-season break, I suppose, uh, where you can play competitive mode, but it doesn't actually give you ranking points, but it still gives you like the XP bonuses and stuff for doing it. Season 4 will start next week. There is The PTR patch that is currently on the PTR, patch 1.8, will probably go live at that point. It's got a few balance changes. It's got the server browser in it. It's been on the PTR for a while. They haven't made any major changes to it for a, at least a couple of weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. There was a minor holiday last week in, in, in the States on, on Monday. Um, but, yeah, it's not like they've been away for so long that they wouldn't have been able to do any work if they wanted to. So that, that patch is expected to go live. It might even go live earlier than that just so they can kind of get it into the game and, and make sure it's all working before Season 4 kicks off. And, you know, at that point, they'll get a kind of influx of players again. At that point, we're then waiting on another PTR patch. Those usually go up pretty quickly. Um, in the case of other games, sometimes it is literally the next day. For Overwatch, we've usually seen you know a week break, maybe a few days, mm. um, and they start like teasing stuff between that where they're like, oh, here's a new balance patch we're going to do, or here's some thoughts we're getting, having about this character. So what I would expect is two weeks from now, um, we will have had the 1.8 patch will hit, hit the live servers next week, and then the week after that, a new PTR patch will be up, and that will have FE, probably a few balance changes, maybe some minor new features as well um so yeah in two weeks i expect you will know what this character plays like there'll be a couple of trailers and, and that sort of thing good news generally mm -hmm. bad news if you've really really <laughs> been looking forward to playing as doomfist so we knew as of last week that doomfist wouldn't be the latest hero mm -hmm. what's happened to him what so we don't it? know the thing about doomfist is, is he was never meant to be a character up until he kind of featured in the short that unveiled the game and then apparently those guys kind of fell in love with him a little bit um, and thought it was a cool idea and you know he's on a couple of maps he's on Numbani we've talked about this stuff before you can go watch our, our new heroes video um, if you want to take a look at look all, all the information about about Doomfist but honestly he may, maybe he will never be a character more likely they've started development on on his idea but they start development on this sort of thing particularly you know okay let's assume Effie is going to be a spider tank in some way if they had concept arts for this back in 2014 whereas Doomfist they just had oh here's a cool gauntlet you know they had no ideas for how that would work or they had no ideas for what the actual character would be that's going to take more time to, to, to get to the point where it's ready to put out whereas this stuff we know that they had you know ideas for gameplay um, even if it was as simple as concept art as early as 2014 so we're going to see that stuff before we see you know characters like Doomfist and that sort of thing Speaking of shorts mm -hmm. will we get a short for Effie? I don't think so we could um, but there's basically a couple of reasons why, why it's unlikely. One, we got short for Sombra. We didn't get short for Anna. The mm. idea of those alternating seems reasonable just because of the amount of work that has to go into them. At the end of the Sombra short, it was also really heavily implied that the next short would, would focus around Zaya. Exactly what she would be doing wasn't really made clear, but you know she shows up at the end, like the, like the end of a Marvel movie, like the post credit scene, where it's like, oh, here's what we're going to be focusing on next. So I would be surprised if there, if there is one for Effie. Um, I also expect part of the reason that Sombra took so long to be unveiled is they were getting that pretty long short out of the way. 
and you know developing that takes a lot of time yeah. um, and maybe they might have stepped back from that just so they can kind of get these heroes out as the development team is ready rather than having to wait on, on all this stuff so rather than a short what I expect we'll get is an Origins trailer which we got for Anna um, and also a gameplay trailer that's like here's how she works yeah and what we're learning in the very long term mm. as chaotic as some of these reveals have seemed for quite a long time mm. is that Blizzard are actually really good at teasing multiple possible new characters at any given yeah. point the problem with Sombra was that everyone knew it was Sombra for six months and, and before that they even thought it was her with, with, with Anna you know Anna and Sombra kind of people thinking they were the same character for a while mm. where that ended up was that there was you know just way too long people waiting and people getting sick of the, the arg and that sort of thing but if there's multiple characters in the fire at all times whether some of them are leaked like like we were talking about with with Greek which was this thing where, where a voice actor had something on his on his CV that was for a Greek character in Overwatch there aren't any Greek characters in Overwatch so everyone was like that must be the new hero he's come out and he said no actually it was just some kind of background lines there aren't any background characters in Overwatch, so people think maybe it's for a short or something like that. You know, that sort of thing happens. Then we have Doomfist, which is kind of this long running process where we don't know how he might be put into the game. And then they can just come out and be like, oh no, there's this character as well. And we don't even know that she's the next character. Like, you know, we've just spent 15, 20 minutes <laughs> explaining why she might be the next character or she might not be. Um, so yeah, I think they're doing quite a good job and they definitely learned from the somber arg that you want to have multiple irons in the fire so that A, people don't know what's going to happen and you'll still be surprising them and B, they don't get sick of, of one idea uh, too quickly. And it reinforces the theory that there may be material in the current build that mm. teases a possible new character already. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right, that'll do it for this week. Join us next episode where we'll be talking about the start of Season 4 uh, where Patch 1.8 will almost certainly be deployed. There will certainly be more to talk about uh, in the Effie front. It's good. If there isn't, it's just we're going <laughs> to... We'll talk about it anyway. We'll yeah, we'll do we'll a just redo we'll this. Just, yeah, yeah, it'll be the same thing. Uh, and maybe we'll talk about esports. I'm not even going to promise nice. this time. It would be It would be good. If you enjoyed this episode of Overwatch This, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell to ensure you never miss any future episodes.